I was outside walking. I was clearing my head. I have been through a lot and usually taking these walks will allow for me to clear my mind and relax. I was getting ready to cross the street. I looked both ways. Then as I was crossing the road, I hear beeping. It started getting louder and louder. Then it went blank from there. I remember waking up and seeing all my friends and family. It was bright white. I was so happy and finally was at peace with myself. Some of my friends and family I haven't seen in ages. I started catching up with everyone. It was so nice. For once, I was actually felt happy. Then it starts going dark from there. Just before it does, a man tells me that his name was Joe Quinn and that he was falsely sentenced to death. He said all the evidence was in his room underneath his desk. I then hear he's waking up. At first, everything is blurry. Then I notice my family sitting around me. I asked what happened, where I was. They told me I was hit by a truck while crossing the street. They said I was pronounced dead because my heart had stopped, but then it somehow started magically beeping again. All this time, I was actually dead? I asked my mom about a man named Joe Quinn. My mom said he was her old boyfriend. They were in love, but then he was sentenced to death for a murder. He did, so they obviously broke up. I asked my mom where he used to live and she one day took me there. She asked why. I told her she has to trust me. The house was abandoned. I went into his room and checked under his desk. I saw his this file. I played the file on my computer when I went home and it was evidence proven that he was falsely accused of murder. All this time, he was innocent. The courts ruled a mistrial. It didn't matter because he was already dead. Continuing my journey through life, I knew I wasn't afraid to die because I knew I would have a lot of people waiting for me.